Mr. Levin. With all due respect, I want to say to Mr. Weller, I think you're asking the wrong question. The question is how many long-term unemployed there are in this country, not only the level of unemployment. I want to read to you, if I might, Ms. Atkinson, from a statement of, uh, from the committee. Hmm? At the start of the 1990 recession, the long-term unemployed comprised 9.8%. At the start of the 2000 recession, 696,000 workers were unemployed for more than six months, representing 11% of all unemployed workers. Today, nearly 1.3 million workers have been unemployed for more than six months, representing nearly 17% of all unemployed workers. Um, do you have any doubt those statements are correct? I believe those data are correct. Um, I, I want to just read communications from, from a few constituents. This came from Donna Bedegard of Roseville. My husband, a CNC machinist for 30 years, recently lost his job on February 29, 2008. He was told it would be a temporary layoff but the ongoing problems within the auto industry, as well as the situation with the strike at American Axle, have given both he and I great cause for concern. We're already at the point of dipping into our savings to make ends meet. Plus, we're also faced with not having medical insurance, a terrifying situation given the fact that I'm a breast cancer survivor. Unfortunately, the COBRA insurance costs were well beyond what we could ever hope to afford right now. I have left out a statement that she put in her letter in their 30 years of marriage. This is the saddest she's seen her husband who goes out every day looking for work. He was unemployed more recently. I have this letter from an accountant from Southfield. He's been looking for work. And he said, if I had gotten an extension in 2007, I would have been able to save my house, even without a job, but at least I can now pay my other bills if past now the extension. This is from a couple in Sterling Heights. They were both laid off after being employed at Farmer Jack supermarkets for over 35 years. Her benefits ran out in January. Mr. Gehart has three weeks left. They are dipping into saving $600 a month for insurance. They are avidly looking for work but can't find anything. This is from a Vietnam War veteran, Mr. Riemann of Hol uh, Southfield, Michigan, Mr. Riemann Holland. He's a, he's a master electrician, uh, 58 years old, paying 170 bucks out of pocket for insurance. He lost his job in November. I called the electrical worker's office last week. There are 1,300 people on the bench looking for work. 1,300. And here's a letter from someone in Sterling Heights. Please keep trying to keep, get us unemployed people some help with extending unemployment employment benefits. I've been out of work for eight months and have applied and been declined for many, many jobs. The truth of the matter is we called her. She's been, she's applied for over 200 jobs, many of them paying $8 an hour. Her benefits expired March 1. She has no health care. She spent all of her savings and drained her IRA be, paying for doctor visits and medication to treat a tumor in her kidney. And this is what she wrote. No one in this country, and I quote, should have to live like this. For so many of us previously middle and upper class, we are now in poverty. Please get something done. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 